Other news, police in Queens are investigating after a successful businessman was killed on his way home from work, fatally shot at least two times. CBS 2's John Slattery has the story from Jamaica, Queens. Detectives were looking for evidence near the spot where the gunshot victim was found. It alarmed neighbors. It's just very disturbing. I mean, you don't want this type of thing to happen to anyone. The body was discovered after a call to 911 just after midnight near the intersection of 105th Avenue and 173rd Street. The victim, 48-year-old Mohammed Hamwi, lived in this house around the corner with a male friend described by police as the man's husband. Hamwi, who worked in information technology in the city, was walking home from the LIRR when the shooting took place. Police say he was shot in the head and in the chest. In his wallet were credit cards and $200 in cash. This woman, who identified herself as the mother of the victim's companion and lives in the basement apartment of the house, did not want to use her name. He was a nice young man. That's it. She further said Hamwe had worked in the World Trade Center but arrived at work late on 9-11, thereby missing the attack of the planes. Neighbors say the victim had a mother in Syria whom he helped support. He's a quiet guy. Yeah, he's quiet. This woman has lived on the block for some 50 years. I'm so sorry for his family, for, for him losing his life unnecessarily. It, it, it's terrible. It's terrible. The challenge for police who were trying to locate surveillance video in the area is to find out who did it and why. In Jamaica, Queens, John Slattery, CBS 2 News. Well, even though cash was found on the body, the mother of the victim's companion still believes the motive was robbery.